Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about decay rates. We'll call it the dance of decay because it is kind of a dance. There's a lot of people involved, so to speak, a lot of variables involved, and hopefully this will help you out a little bit, understand it. Reverberation is always our problem in these small rooms. Now, reverberation is a prolongation of sound. A lot of people confuse that with echo, and we're going to do a video on the two differences shortly. But prolongation of sound, so sound lasting longer than it was originally intended. So the fundamental with a big harmonic tail, okay? And what is the measurement? We all know that there's an RT60 decay rate that we have to go by. So reverberation and everything else is measured on this reduction of 60 dB from the original strike or the original fundamental. So as this reverberation time in your room, which is the reflections off the wall surfaces, starts to decay and go down at least 60 dB, then we have intelligibility, okay? But during that process, during the fundamental and the strike of the fundamental and the decay rate, all of this in here is room distortion. So high reverberation times equal high room distortion. So I get calls every day from people, oh, my room has too much echo. No, your room has too much reverberation, okay? And each room that we have has a different reverb requirement. A live room, when you're doing live recording, is going to be different than a control room. We want less room sound in our control room, in our mixes. We may want more room sound in our live recordings. Voice, a uh, combination of the two perhaps. It's just all very subjective. I have seen uh, control rooms with reverberation times of 0.25, to 1.5 seconds. So there's a big gap there, a big range of possibilities that people use. It just depends on the genre, your mixing style, recording style, and all of those variables. So in voice, it depends upon the tonal quality of the voice, the octave range of the voice. So lots of variables here. So what you have to remember, when you have a room that has a lot of reverberation, Every fundamental note has to have a decay rate to get down to the time frames that you're trying to achieve in the room. Well, during that process, during that time signature, that's all room distortion. So we have to treat that. And that's where balancing the times and the usages and the treatment of the room are so important. So, the dance of decay is a dance of distortion. We have to manage it, we've got to live with it, but we can manage it. And it's rate and level of treatment types that's critical, just like the rate and level here. So we have to match the two up. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.